Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodworks. Um, I'm in the shop doing a little bit of a happy dance because I reached 6,000 viewers and I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing and watching my videos. Now one of the reasons I hit this number is years of recording video every week, editing and producing sort of show and tell type videos of what I'm making and how I do it. Not necessarily how to step by step instructions. Uh, again, thanks a lot. Now today, the reason I'm in the shop is that um, if you remember a couple weeks ago, I posted a video explaining how I'm going to be doing an arts and crafts fair of sorts in December. And uh, because of that, I've been in sort of like production mode, making things that I think will be sellable and will be cool. So this is my second review of the things I've made. Again, not necessarily uh, an individual project that I'm doing. Just give you some ideas of things that you might want to do, or maybe give you some idea of the pricing that I'm thinking about. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and review some of those, uh, uh, some of those items that I've made in the last couple weeks or so. So the first things are, is I've been making these little uh, beetle plaques. Um, I'm using the scroll saw to cut them out. Uh, and uh, what I've done is I've layered two pieces, one of Baltic birch and another thin piece, which was actually uh, the bottom of a drawer, an old dresser drawer that someone was throwing out. And I got a little hanger on there to hang them up. And I think and that'll be a popular item at the show. And with the Beatles in mind, I actually, out of my uh, Cricut uh, vinyl cutter, I made some of these little plaques that are uh, magnetic with neodymium magnets on the back. Um, and uh, just a little, you know, $5 item for somebody's refrigerator. Um, those are a couple of the uh, kind of Beatle-ish things that I've made. Um, another one is, is that these are a lot of artists and crafters that are going to be at the show. So I made these little, I got on the lathe and I started doing some turning um, and made some just some real basic little mini mallets. Um, it just happens to be wood that I had laying around that came from the runner from a pallet. Um, and I also have a um, bed post from an old water bed. I got four of them and I've been turning that down. Uh, and just making some, like I say, these little mini mallets. I'll probably sell these for seven to ten dollars, maybe a little bit more for the bigger one. I made another little uh, uh, tree. Now this one, normally I would use a piece of black paper in the back. I tried green. I'm not sure if it was successful or not. But again, I sandwiched a couple pieces of wood together, hung it in the back. I always like to put my name uh, and. Uh, information at the back and, and put a nice piece of paper to kind of finish it off. But that's a little scroll saw um, a tree uh, piece that I'll, I'll sell. And I'm figuring this is probably a $20 item. That's a little boom box on a piece of acrylic. You know, again, another little desktop item. This is gonna be like a four or $5 item. And this was from last year, but it's a little apple pie sign. Some people kind of, there'll be a lot of uh, artists and stuff like that, and uh, they might get a kick out of that. Now, a bigger sign I made, this is my at peace sign. I've made a few of these smaller versions of them, and this one's just a little bit bigger. I've got a, a nice uh, a steel cable on there to hold it out, more of a wall piece. Again, I've been on the lathe doing some turning, so I have some old uh, uh, wood that I cut into these little mushroom shapes. Nothing too spectacular, but people like that natural edge. And like I say, for a five or an $8 item, these might be a, a popular um, a popular choice for someone that collects mushrooms maybe. But these are quick items that are cheap to sell. Another one of my big ones I've made is this here. Let me show you. I had this old bar stool that I decided to fancy up a little bit. I think this might be a, a cool item to make a nice gift for somebody. And I use the Cricut vinyl cutter to, to cut the top there, if you can see that. But uh, I think it might be a popular item. I think that's going to be about a $45 uh, price tag on there. So I hope this inspires you to come up with some maybe gift ideas for the holiday season. Or if you're thinking about doing a show some ideas for that, maybe some of the pricing, at least for the 
the show that I'm going to do. Thanks for watching again. I, I really appreciate everybody. I'm fascinated by the fact that 6,000 people have subscribed to my channel and they're all interested in some of the things I do. So again, thank you so much and you have yourself a great day and don't forget to get that woodworking. This is Krista Metric from TDW Woodworks.